everything um, boiled and I turned off my um, hot water and I kind of just pushed it back to the back part of the stove. And I'm just taking a power, paper towel and I'm just kind of going to, you could use a clean dish towel for this, especially around, like I have some water just on my sheet. So technically we are supposed to do, cook four of these on a tray. Give them nice space all around. Okay, got that up. Now we're gonna do the egg wash. Egg wash again is gonna give us that extra, extra, extra shine on the outside and make it look really beautiful. So what we have to do is we're just doing the egg white. And to do that, we have to separate the egg. So, got it. Didn't wanna crack. All right, so I'm just opening it and kind of taking the top off and I'm just letting the, you can see the white part is just falling off and I'm going to pour the whole egg into my hand, but I'm just gonna let the white drip off. And then I'm gonna take the yolk and I'm gonna pass it to my other hand. While I'm doing that, there it goes, the white part just fell off. We don't need the yolk, so I'm gonna throw it out and I'm gonna wash my hands. Okay, then we are gonna add a tablespoon of water to this. And the way I like to measure when I have just like a little tablespoon, <laughs> so all of my tablespoons are um, washed because I did a whole bunch of cooking yesterday. And <laughs> the one that I have left is this one the dog like too, so still works. So, all right, so tablespoon is the bigger one. And I'm gonna put that tablespoon of water in with my egg white and I'm just gonna give that a stir around. Now for this next part, if you have a pastry brush, that is great. If you do not have a pastry brush, you can kind of use your, um, your fork even, or like a, a spatula, just to kind of brush it off. And this part is the fun part. I'm just gonna dip, dip, and just sort of paint that on. And I like to get around the sides, kind of in the middle. And that's going to be shown. I hear that my oven is hot, which is perfect timing. Now, after you put the egg wash on, if you want to add something like sesame seeds or the everything bagel spice, you can. Um, you don't have to. You can leave them plain. Some people like to just add a tiny bit of salt to the top. That's also an option. So kind of whatever you know you really like on your bagel. You do. So what you're going to do is after you finish this, you're going to put them in the oven for 20 to 25 minutes. We do want them like a nice sort of golden brown when they're finished. Um, halfway through your baking, you want to rotate the pans. So if you are going to choose to do two at a time, then rotate the top one for the bottom, the bottom for the top, and then rotate them around back to front. Um, you know, it's a lot of times it's best just to do it in the middle rack, but I'm going to, I'm going to do one on the top and the bottom. I'm just going to switch it halfway through. We don't want to miss that part of it because if we do, then we'll have a tendency for them to like over bake on one end and under on the other. All right. I've got a little bit of this everything bagel spice. So I'm going to just do a little bit on half and then the other half I'm going to do plain. I might do a little crack of salt on the top, but not a ton. We don't want to overdo it. Now, not on my everything, my everything bagel spice already has salt in it, so we don't want to add more salt. Let's see if that smells good. Okay, there you go. You can also dip it in it, but sometimes dipping it gets a lot of salt. I'm going to add my other ones. All right, 20 to 25 minutes on um, your 425 degrees, that's what mine's up to, and rotate it halfway through. Okay, good luck. I'm excited. Hope you enjoy your bagel.